You mean they can they can hear us now? What's our, up, Laura? Our voices? Uh, yeah. On the yeah. internet. But but uh, they won't see us yet unless okay. unless are we doing Freddie's voice? I can't do Freddie's voice. What does Freddie sound like? Um, that's a good question. He did well. He did the Freddie <laughs> Funko show. That's how you know what he sounds like. Mm. What's up, Anna? Ooh, Chili, Colorado. Meg Staka. But Twisted is here. I see him. Grover Monsters here. Ed Sanchez, Lol Cakes, howdy. I felt like I'm back home. What's up, Ryan Matsumoto? Hey. Clint Crockett. Robert Vadas. All these, you see a lot of the same names. That's our that's our hardcore fans right oh, there. Nice. Do we have any uh, newbies joining us for the first time? If you are, do what Al Lopez just did and give us a hand wave emoji just so we uh, know how many people. What's up, True Pair? I think that's what I saw. What's up, Lou? Darren Izzard. Selena. Happy Wednesday indeed. We got a Zenny in the house. I see a few waves. There's Martin there Martinez. You You've been with us before, Martin. I know that name. You're not tricking me. <laughs> Jace the Face. I like that name. Nice. That's a good name. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Chicken Nugget in the window. Welcome. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to the welcome to the live I on saw YouTube. Joni scroll by. V8 Vapor. VA Vapor. There it is. VA Vapor. For some reason, I wanted to put a, a P, an extra P. Hello, LaFon. Child Rebel Soul. Sounds like something from Star Wars. I love it. Yep. The right. Winter R. Are. are we ready? Are we yeah. Ready? Let's yeah, do it. I'm ready. What's up, Jordan? What's up, ready. Sarah? Three, two, one, let's go. What's up, Fanatics? Sully here at Funko HQ with Brian from Marketing. Brian. Yep. Brian uh, was with us in New York at the the Funcast Live. I was. That was a lot of fun. And have, you've done unboxings. You did. Uh, I did the disenchantment one. Nice. Yep. So you guys might recognize this guy. If not, you're going to see be, be seeing him more. I think. A uh, future podcaster too. Well, I won't yeah. give him the details yep. yet. But it's fun. He's it's working fun. on it. Yeah. Uh, we, if you're joining us for the first time, we've got 30 minutes with you guys today. Uh, we always look forward to this doing this live every week. It's a good opportunity to show you some things, interact with you answer your questions, which we'll get to towards the end. Uh, we are going to do an unboxing of some items I've got over here on the right. We are going to look at some vaulted items that I brought from home. Brian hasn't even seen them yet, so it'll be a total You'll get a total genuine surprise. reaction from me. I love it. Good, because yep. we, we want gifable moments. Right. They like to make the gifts, especially right. me doing like things like this. Right. Anytime I have my <laughs> arms over my head, it's a gifable moment. I almost knocked the whole thing <laughs> off. Go. Uh, but what we're going to do that first is go through a few moment. announcements, then we'll do the unboxing, then we do have a giveaway. I saw somebody uh, was cute and adorable and dropped in with Funko Shop right off the bat. That is not the keyword today. Good effort, though. Good try. Yeah. Good try, indeed. Worth a try. Banned for life? Was it worth it? No, I'm just kidding. Mm. You're not banned for life. <laughs> Everyone's eligible to enter every week. That's the beauty of these. Uh, we'll get this, this vaulted items, and then we're going to do Q&A at the end. You good? Looking forward uh, to it. Like yeah, what are you, uh, is this your normal attire? Yeah. I um, Well, I walk to work. 15, 20 miles. Um, Up the hill. <laughs> yeah. Through was, a zombie apocalypse? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is just, this is my nice shirt. <laughs> this, this is his going out shirt. I knew I was going to be on camera today, so I wore my good shirt. So, yeah. Uh, don't give me the number for your laundromat. I will not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's spirit week here at Funko, and today's theme is post-apocalyptic. So, I've clearly been through some stuff. And I've got some evidence of that on my shirt, but I'm I'm alive and happy. And I clearly missed the memo about the post-apocalyptic. Or you know, as often as it's I wear optional. Funko tees, this might be exactly what I look like in the post-apocalyptic. Yours is probably a more realistic take. I don't think we're all going to be running around in bandanas and weird hats all of a sudden just because the power went out. No. Give me, you give me a <laughs> hot minute. I'm going to survival, <laughs> some sort of like army surplus store as soon as it hits the fan. You know, I'll be ready. Get ready. All right, let's do some announcements so we can get to the unboxing. I know you guys are excited to see what we have on tap for today. First up in the announcements, the Hollywood Grand Opening is just weeks away. November 18th in Los Angeles, we will open the doors for the first time ever to fans. Uh, we've already done ticketing online. Those tickets are gone unless somebody cancels 
their order. There will not be any additional tickets, but there will be a standby line. And from what I understand, a everything you need to know blog post will be going up very shortly that describes the procedures for all of that. So uh, just uh, have a little chill for a hot second, and then that information is coming your way. It's going to be a great day. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited to get down there at some point. I can't wait. You're going to just miss oh, it. Man. I hear you'll be on vacation I in the area. I know some but things. I'm excited to see some things. Shh, not here. Don't tell. Yep. Don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> Funko Verse is out right now. Uh, if you want, we'll grab those over on the side there. We'll show everybody in case you haven't seen. I mean, we've been talking about this a lot. We've got the first from Funko Games, the first Funko official game here uh, in different versions. I've got the DC 4 pack. We got Rick and Morty 2 pack over here. The fun part about these, totally mixable. I can give Rick a battering. Hey, if you want. Once you get these, you can do what you want. You uh, we are also doing a giveaway in our, what we're calling the Funkoverse Scavenger Hunt. So if you are out looking at retail, maybe you're at your local Target or Walmart or anywhere else where you shop that has board games, look and see if Funkoverse is on the shelf. Share a photo of you with the items on the shelf. You don't even have to buy it. And use the hashtag Funkoverse, that's F-U-N-K-O-V-E-R-S-E, just like right here. And you might win a gold Batman. So it's actually this figure right here that you can see in the camera, uh, but in pure gold with just the Batman logo in black. Uh, it is this figure in that size, which is slightly smaller than, uh, let me grab one we're not spoiling. This is the typical uh, Funko Pop size. And to compare it to these others, you can kind of see the difference. I know we're not getting a zoom in. We did it last that's, week. That's a gold version of him. A gold you version. You can only get by taking a picture and putting hashtag Funkoverse. Correct. Wow. Yeah, very limited. So make sure you do that. We're picking multiple winners per week. In fact, I just picked five more winners uh, before we came in here today. So check your really? DMs. Yep. Wow. Over on Twitter, check those DMs. That's exciting. So that's Funkoverse. You can get those now. More's on the way. Now, you guys will, it'll blow your minds what's coming up. Uh, let's see, Paka Paka. Boy, talk about new. NYCC, we premiered for the first time the Paka Paka machines, which are starting to appear at GameStop stores, and we actually have them here at HQ. We have at least one, maybe two, but at least one. And in the Paka Paka machines, you go up, you can get a, a token from us at the counter, you yep. put it in the machine, you pick which of the three lines, either Soda Cats, Munchies, or Kawaii Village. Yep. Uh, and then you turn the knob and you get a random mystery figure in a ball, a Paka Paka ball, yep. uh, that you take out of there. There are some very limited chases, some very cool figures. There are. Have you, have you played on the machine? I haven't played on the machine. I've seen a couple of the figures. I'm partial to the Munchies line. There's a white pizza cat, or even the orange pizza cat. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those. When, I, when we first put the machine downstairs, I saw a guy um, a fan come in and just go nuts. Oh, yeah, he heard. He bought tons of these things. He's trying to clean us out. Oh, he was loving it. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a whole new take. I like the Soda Cats, personally. Yeah. Uh, there's the Dr. Purr Purr that's mm -hmm. modeled after <laughs> another drink that right. sounds familiar. Right. Uh, I really dig those, and I want to add that to my collection. But then, like, the Gold Cat from the Munchies line. The Gold Cat's really cool. Yeah. Who doesn't like a Gold Cat? Like yeah. Gold Batman. Exactly. So, Paka Paka, be on the lookout. We don't have a site to tell you exactly where they're at at GameStops, but that hopefully that information's coming soon. So, just be on the lookout. Go to your local GameStop if you're at the mall or in a strip center and see if they have it. That's Paka Paka. Uh, fan Club, yeah, a final item today before we get to the unboxing. Don't forget we do have the Funko Fan Club, which you can access either online or in the app. It is free to sign up. And basically, the short version of what we're doing right now is getting people to sign up and asking you what you want from the fan club in the future. We're basically doing it like a right. giant poll. But we are going to be picking some random folks who sign up for the fan club to get items from their wish list. From their wish list? Mm hmm A bespoke surprise? Bespoke. Wow. Bespoke. No D. Is this like a Pee-wee's Playhouse where that's the word for today? Yeah. Everybody scream word. when you bespoke. hear the bespoke. Yeah. Um, yeah, so <laughs> sign up for that. Uh, there will be some other prizes you're coming away, coming your way as well. So, yep. I mean, it's free. Why wouldn't you? The early sign, the people that sign up early are genuinely going to help us shape this thing for the future. So yep. take advantage of it because we are shaping it based on your feedback. <laughs> Hold on, we have to take this moment for a quick question. Real Adam Janice <laughs> said, wait, my wife called me and interrupted. Will you be giving away Funkoverse games? You know what? Somebody did this last week and it worked to their advantage and it happened again. I swore I wouldn't, I wouldn't succumb to these threats. That uh -oh. was a question. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, in the prize pack we do today, which we'll show you in a few minutes, we'll toss in a Funkoverse to your choice. Wow. How's that sign? Amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Let's do our unboxing for the week. We have several different licenses uh, that products are starting to hit shelves now. We're going to get them out. We're going to put them on our spinner over there so you guys have a chance to see them up close and personal. We're going to start with uh, one that I really dig because I love the look of these characters. Yeah. And that is Purge Election Year. Oh, man. And the first one we have up is Lady Liberty. Now, I, uh, beforehand, I, I warned you that we had to, before we talk about these, we got to get them over on the old spinner so that folks get an opportunity to see them up and close while we're talking about them. There you go, I'll let you do the... the on to the spinner you go. Look friend. at him. He's a veteran. So that's Lady Liberty. Uh, I don't think a lot of explanation is needed here. Do you notice any differences between her and the actual Statue of Liberty? I know, spot on to me. Spot on. Doesn't the actual Statue of Liberty have an axe behind her back? Yep. And a mask? Neon? Yep. Built into the. They did a great job. I really, I have watched the, um, two of the Purge movies. Have you seen any of these? I haven't seen any of them. Yeah? No, nope, they're too scary for me. I just, I just haven't seen them. No, you should yeah. check them out. They're a very original storyline. I saw the first one with Ethan Hawke. We were talking right. about that earlier. And then I saw the last one with Marissa Tomei. And I, I enjoyed both. What do you guys think? What do you think of this, these movies? What do you think of specifically this one? Because this, which one is for the election year? Is this the best one? What do you think? There's a bunch on the back there. Yeah. I see five. Is this the best Purge movie, though? Well, while we're, while we're asking that, we'll, we'll have them drop in the comments there. Somebody asked if she glows in the dark. That one does not. But... Who knows what exclusives might await? I'm not I'm not guaranteeing anything, not confirming. Does it glow in black? That's a cool idea. That's a good question, yeah. Hesh. Given the kind of light greenish color, especially the stitching, it's not a bad idea at all. Next up we got Betsy Ross. Oh wow. And if there's not a flag involved, but there is. There we go. I'm putting her on the stand. The hole in the stand is in her heel. That's a tricky one. But looky there. Got it done. Boom. Oh wow. I love this one nice. as well. Yeah. Great detail. The American flag worked in. Yep. Uh, don't I don't think Betsy Ross used what she used to make the flag uh, on Purge Night. No, this one I know they changed. This is not an accurate representation <laughs> of of Betsy of Betty Ross. Like, and I, I agree with what Jessica said. They'd be creepy. They be creepy. They be creepy figures. That'd be a good tagline for one of the future movies. Yep. K May so. says, "Oh my God, I love that one." Kooky says, "Ooh." Ooh. Laura asks if the head turns. Can you, you want to experiment there? Let's, let's give this a shot here. Turn the head. Looky there. Ooh, you can go all the way around. I don't know why you'd need to, but if you want to, you once want you get one. You want them to be even more creepy. <laughs> Back on the spinner you go for now. Daniel says, don't kill me. Daniel, we will not kill you today. Guaranteed. All right, uh, continuing on, I think that's all we have for Purge election year. But there are, mm -hmm. if you saw on the back of the box, we won't do a close-up, but there are five to choose from there, and I believe there's some exclusives involved. You can find all that on the Funko blog, Funko.com. Is there a dog on there? Is one of them a, a pup? What is that? Or is that a bear? What is that That's one? a bear. Oh, a bear. no, it's a pig. It's oh. called Big Pig. Big Pig. But it is a bear. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't write the film. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I wish I had. I'd, that'd, that'd be worth some money, I bet. All right, uh, next up we got The Warriors. We had an NYCC exclusive for oh, The Warriors. Oh, man, the people loved they that They did, one. didn't they? Yeah, it was a great look. But then pop. immediately after we got back, we announced the full wave, wave one, that includes Swan, Cochise, Luther, and the Punk's Leader. And I've got the Punk's Leader in hand here. I just rewatched this a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and it is a good film, uh, but definitely different than a lot of the stuff you see today. Oh, man. Roller got skates roller and skates. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh, we got a we got a tip easy. Do it like a football tee? Yeah, football tee. Don't kick it. Nobody kick it. Just it would be awesome around. if those little wheels on the skates worked. But uh, that would can be. you imagine? Yeah, we haven't done working wheels oh. yet. Tiny little ball bearings. That'd be <laughs> great. Yeah. And this we'll hold this pose for a good twenty seven minutes. Yeah. Can, are you I'm, good with that, oh, sir? Absolutely. You've got time, right? Yep. All right, while you're uh, teeing it up over there, I've got Swan in the hands. Uh, he's holding a baseball bat. You know, I, I really like these micro collections that some people yeah. do. Like, I got a buddy, Corgi Commander, shout out, yep. who uh, does all Ooh. flocked pups in his collection. The you best. could effectively do a collection of characters just holding bats now. You could. There'd be a bunch of them. You could get some Walking Dead characters in there. Yep. You get, we just did a Babe Ruth at New York Comic Con holding a bat. Yep. Yep. You could probably put together a nice little bat. Bat pop collection. Yeah, all those MLB ones. And you can put them in, in the bat cases people like to use to display their pops. That's brilliant. Full bat circle. pops in a bat case. Yep. And that, you can include Batman if you really want. Just just to like 
Yeah. Mess with That's people when they come over. Slope, though. There's a good amount of Batman pops. There's a few. There's I a don't handful. Know if you guys have noticed. Yep. A good shout out opportunity for the Funko app. In case you guys uh, haven't signed up for the fan club, Absolutely. you want to do that. But the Funko app is a good way to track your collection. You can actually scan the barcodes on the bottom of the boxes to add it to your collection I or got my whole collection in add there. items to your wish list. There you go. What do you have? In, do you have a lot in your wish list? I have about the same amount in my wish list as in my collection. Hmm. Yep, 100 and something. A little balance, eh? Yeah, yeah. A little parody. All right, next up we got Luther. Oh, Ooh. and look at Luther's got the oh, beer bottles. Bottle fingers. Or root beer bottles on his fingertips there. Throw bottle so, fingers up in the chat for us. This is a family show. Oh, Clint Crockett called out Bat Boy. Fantastic plastic would be perfect to put in there. All right, that might not fall. If it does, I'll pick it up. This is where I shake the table profusely. And what does he have on his back there? On the back of his letter jacket, is that the, uh, the for his gang? What does that say? Here, if we get real low, that's just awkward. <laughs> I can remove it and put it back. I would have liked to see you peering at it from behind the spinner. Rogues. Oh, the rogues. They're group. That's yep. awesome. Yep. So, back on there, maybe? Oh, we got another one coming your way. That's okay. He jump can off. he can jump off. All right. Uh, this, this character here, uh, I don't remember from the Warriors. Maleficent? Maleficent. No, I'm just kidding. Not we, in the Warriors. Different whole, film. Whole new line. Uh, yep. For the new movie, Maleficent. Ooh, I'm going to open this one Go because for it. I just saw this movie and it was great. Yep. I enjoyed This first one was a big surprise for me. I was like, oh, okay, I'll check it out. I really enjoyed it. And then this one, I think, is just as good as the first one. So, you know, if you like the first one, give it a go. If you're a Joe Lee fan. Oh, man. God, she makes a great pop. Look at all those details. Dang, the wings. That's amazing. There's another micro collection you could do characters with wings. There you go. You could. I like... Uh, and I this came up in my disenchantment unboxing. I love when the um, <gasps> her wings didn't save her. <laughs> no, they did not. I, all right, we'll football it. Um, I love when the clothes or the accessories hold the pop up when it's more than just their yeah. feet. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Very That's cool. Amazing. I didn't miss a stand there, did I? Yeah. Well, this wing kind of does. I think our spinners tilted a bit. So heads up on these, a lot of them have been announced just in the last couple of months and these are like early preview samples. Uh, I think the Purge you can probably find out now, but Warriors and Maleficent, uh, I don't know if they're out already. Another great thing to check the Funko app for. Yep. And of course, check your, lo your favorite online retailers or local retailers and if they don't have it, ask yeah. them for it. Because you know, they got to order them at some point and if they know it's on your, on your brain, yeah. they may get it in. Absolutely. All Love right. It. That is our unboxing items for today, but don't don't leave us yet. Uh, we still got more. Uh, next so no, step is a giveaway. No giveaway. Oh, we are doing a giveaway. Oh, I'm sorry. I, you were about to set up a nice little yeah. uh, interaction we no, could add, and okay. I blew it. All right. No, it, we're, they didn't even. We didn't have to mess with them. They're like, whatever, dude. What's the keyword? <laughs> Just tell me the tell me the freaking keyword. The keyword. All right. Uh, Hesh Knight says Purge is at Think Geek. Nice shout out there, which means chances are at GameStop as well. Maleficent, Maleficent is at GameStop. At GameStop. There you go. Slowly that one makes sense source. that we would put it out when the movie came out. It does make yeah. sense. Yeah, we planned ahead on that one. It doesn't always work out that way. Nope. But there we go. Right on. So today's Funko Shop item, for you guys who are paying attention, we uh, broadcast this on all our social channels. It is live now, from what I understand, not sold out, is the Energizer Bunny Flocked, which yep. I think we should take a close look at this one. It's um, a fuzzy boy. A so fuzzy boy. A fuzzy boy, this one. This one obviously makes a very good flock pop because the Energizer Ooh, Bunny. It's a chunky is, flocking. Is a furry. Ooh, that Look at is that. Interesting. Is that because of the original wow. mold or is this flock a little different? Let's see what they think. I want to see the Look original mold. What do you now? guys think of that? There's like built in chunks in the fur. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. That's definitely not the right word for it. It's like matting, maybe? I like chunky flock. I like what Jay said. He's so fluffy. Oh, yeah. Insert that gif. Yeah. You can't do that on our chat, but they could do it on Mixer. <laughs> He's yeah. so fluffy. That's a good one. Mixer love, I love from our, Ocho. I love our, our ad icons, man. There's Farscaper so says, I copped the Energizer Bunny, which I don't know if you know this, but the kids say, I copped when they mean, I got this. They purchased it. Yep. I always think I'm in trouble when I sit here, I copped. Yep. I think it's because cops follow the rules, and they followed the rules and paid money. <laughs> Is that why that is copped? <laughs> oh, no, I snorted. I, I'm going to get <laughs> called out for that. Uh, you know you got me if I snort. That was good. All right, so that's still available on Funko Shop. Go get it. That is a Funko Shop exclusive. You guys might have seen information to the contrary, but don't believe it. Funko Shop exclusive. Excellent. Roll with that. 
Uh, so that will be one half of the giveaway we're doing today. Actually, one third because earlier, thanks to uh, I've forgotten his name already. Now, apologize. A wonderful guest. Wonderful guest was yep. his name. Uh, we are going to include the Energizer Bunny, your version, your choice of version of Funkoverse, and you Ooh, know what the brown box choose? means. Which Funkoverse? Though? I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them choose. And Very then when nice they say, person. "Oh, I really wanted the DC two pack," I'll be like, "We don't have that." <laughs> I really wanted the Rick and Morty two pack. We st we don't have that either. Mm, sorry. I'm just kidding. We have them all. We're going to include your friend, your pal, good old buddy, Social Media Freddy. Social Media Freddy. 1.0. The OG Social Media Freddy. So we're giving away Social Media Freddy and on great, social media. The hashtag Sully Snorts is moving. Is it? There, Yay. Yep. He snorted. You're welcome <laughs> for getting him to snort. Did it yep. to myself. Absolutely. We'll see if we can maybe get one more in there. You never know. Kame, um, just all caps, John Wick. That was announced today. Great pop. <laughs> nice. Sub hype. Yeah. Hey, if you guys, we're going to do some more stuff here in just a minute, but if you guys have not, be sure to subscribe and follow. We don't normally ask that, but just a reminder, if you if you want to participate in these each week, do that so you get a notification when we go live. You can win things. Yeah, we, we do that. Just by typing a word. Oh, we forgot to tell people how to enter to win. Should we tell them? Hmm. What is the keyword for today, sir? Let's use the keyword, and this one we dug down at the bottom of the barrel of creative ideas for the time of year. Halloween. Oh. Just the way it sounds, traditional spelling, H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Yep. That was two spelling. E's. You it sounded it. like one, but it was two. Yep. Uh, drop I, that. I heard the difference. You heard it? Yep. Uh, there's a little small stutter in the middle. Yep. You guys drop it wherever you're watching. Uh, Facebook, Twitter slash Periscope, Mixer, Twitch, we'll YouTube. We'll see it. Drop that keyword in there. A dork Knight said bespoke. That is, that's a different word for today. And by the way, ah, <laughs> you have to scream every time. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yep. You failed. Uh, next Sorry. time. Well, it's first appearance on a live. It's okay. Yep. We're yep. not grading you. It's okay. Feel like All right, feel so like keywords are dropping in. We'll give you guys a couple of minutes because that usually crashes our chat, which is yeah. good. We like when you crash the chat yep. well, because you guys stuff. are excited. You know, free stuff does that. It, it'll get your attention. Oh, yeah. Uh, German, or Herman, says, what's the word? The word is Halloween. 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 Type it with an accent. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Don't, <laughs> don't do misspell that. it, though. Yeah, if you misspell, misspell it, it, not entered. <laughs> All right, we're getting a refresh of the chat. Look there it goes. The, the, you, I thought you were just like kidding a little bit. No, no. The chat actually couldn't handle Flat it. Flat out crashes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Sherry Griffin dropping the emoji in. Uh, emojis will not hurt your entry, so that's fine. That's good, good to know. I like it. Good to know. Lee dropped in two smiley faces with hearts. Unprecedented. Fan of Halloween, it looks like. Clearly. Yeah, three entry, three words, and then we got a ghost emoji, another pumpkin emoji. Isn't bird the word? Kelly, keep my eye on you now. It's a Troublemaker. <laughs> Halloween, thumbs up. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, Halloween with spaces between all the letters, not going to help you out. You might want to redo that without the spaces. Yep. Don't want to miss out on your chance. Capitalization does not matter. How about John, Halloween, Halloween snort. You got it. <laughs> How about L Halloween? Will that work? L Halloween? I saw an L Halloween. They wouldn't be uh, Dia de los Muertos? That, yeah, but they wrote L Halloween. Well, that doesn't work. No. That's not going to do it? Neither does Dia de los Muertos. Nope. Just, just uh, to be safe. Yeah. Okay. That's um, clear. We've got seven minutes left. We're going to make the most of that. Seven is the Funcast number, by the way. Uh, which, shout out to the Funko Funcast. A new episode did not drop today, but I do have something recorded, and you guys should see a new episode hopefully tomorrow afternoon or Friday. Awesome. I recommend you listen. We are going to get to vaulted items in just a second. Before we do, start thinking about your questions for our Q&A that we're going to do right after the vault segment. Uh, you can ask anything you'd like, but if you ask, hey, will you guys ever make this license? Have you ever thought of this license? We probably can't answer just because we can't until we have approval. But True. feel free to drop the questions in anyway because we do look and we use those as opportunities to tell the higher up decision makers what to be on the lookout for. Yep, it's a good tip. Um, while should, I'm getting the vaulted out, oh, did you? Should we move something? these out of the way? Yeah, please do. All K right. Collector says, any giveaways for the Funko Hollywood opening? Um, What's in the vault? Hey, you know, it's a good question, K Collector, and I think that will fall under the wait and we'll tell you more category. I don't want to say yes and be wrong, no. but I think if you know Funko, chances are good we're going to do something, right? I mean, okay. Now I have to I have to warn you just like I have okay. to warn everybody okay. out there. The things the, the items I'm about to pull up, the Funko Pops, yep. are from my personal collection. Things I bought with right. my own monies. 
years ago. Decades ago. Not that far back. Years ago. Yeah, this yep. was pre-apocalypse for you. <laughs> pre-apocalypse. Pre right, pre-apocalypse. So these are not currently available at retail from Funko. They are items that have been vaulted and right. are no longer available directly from us. They are available in the secondary market. They may cost money. Things cost money. Things do cost money. If you want to see how much they cost, you can look in the Funko app. That'll give you an idea about recent eBay sales. Yep. That didn't necessarily the exact price. You can get it. You know how eBay works. Go do your thing. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at three items so I brought, brought for today. brought these in for our viewing pleasure. For, for you guys to see, because how often do these things appear? They don't. All right, first up, I'm going to go big sure, on know, the first up. Just up here. With a four-pack. What do you, don't, don't look ahead, sir. With a four-pack <laughs> from, I believe, 2014. Let me okay. verify that. Yep, 2014. And that is the Ghostbusters mm, 30th Anniversary word. Marshmallowed Four-Pack from the original films with all the boys. You got them all there. Bankman Stance. This is incredible. The other boys. This is absolutely Winston, incredible. Winston Spengler. Yeah, I love it. And this interesting story behind this one, and I won't take up wow. all of our time. This was at a time when you got into the Funko booth by waiting in line overnight, getting yep. in, and then you walked in and you picked your own items off the shelf you and put in your own bag. Yourself back then? Yep. And then you took up to the front. That sounds oh, dangerous. Put it over there where we get the zoom in. And then they would check you out. And I walked into the booth with this one on the brain, and yep. I watched somebody take the last one. Oh, and I was no. I was heartbroken, but little did I know, the right around the corner, because this is here. It's it's here. You so yeah. you know something happened. A fanatic came around the corner and restocked the shelf right in front of my eyes. So I yanked one up and put it in my collection. Still one of my favorite items to this day. That's incredible. I've never seen that in person. Obviously, nothing that you bring in for the vault have I ever seen in person. Yeah, but that is that is a great one. Isn't that cool? I just watched both those movies, obviously for Halloween and. Oh, so Man, good. I love it. I see. That's so cool. Awesome, awesome with the three. Is that three times the awesome? Three times of Comic-Con. Self-serve, says Kelly. Yep, that's what it was. We got an oh, offer from Sarah. She's, she's offering 500 Stay Puft marshmallows for it. Wow, that is a generous offer, but yeah. I'm going to have to refuse. Yeah, I think that's probably a good call on Decline. your part. But worth a shot, Sarah. All right. On the theme of Ghostbusters, okay. I have here a very rare Freddy Funko item from Fun Days. Mm. I believe in the same year. Okay. Let's see. Which, to, verify. to refresh my memory was what? 2014. I was right. 2014. That's what I thought. It is a limited edition 300 Ooh. piece wow. Freddy Funko as Venkman. Wow. Which uh, I take. Do we want to? We want to take a look at this? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to bust it out of the box using no. my handy dandy open all tool. You're going to. You're, he's, he, already, he already opened it. He's opening it. Now, for people freaking out because I'm opening the box, just a shout out to the fact that these boxes were designed to take things out and put them back it's in. very true. There's no tape sealing them up for so that reason. Just be careful and you'll be oh fine. Oh my goodness. Look at that proton pack on the back too. What a beauty. And for the purpose of speeding up, because I see we're down to our last few minutes, we'll put that on the spinner and I'll go ahead and move on to the next item while yep. you guys get a close look at that proton pack. You guys can gawk at that and we'll get the next one going. One of my all-time favorite movies because of the movie and the soundtrack. When yep. I say all-time, it's like my top 200 probably because I have so many. <laughs> That's uh, on my top movies list is too. But a little dust off there. The Crow. Ooh, a Crow Starring pop. Brandon Lee, uh, wow. which I always love. That We did several Ooh. versions of The Crow Pop. Uh, and this one is a Hot Topic exclusive glow in the dark what? of the crow, which I believe Dima picked up on in the last couple of years. Uh, wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this one up too. It is not crazy expensive in the aftermarket, but still has increased in value a little bit. Something I've never seen again. And look at, look at that. I'm going to put oh, that over on the spinner. Man, that looks good. She's a real beaut, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> so that are the vault, those are the vaulted items that are. Those are the vaulted items for today. Again, these are from my personal collection. Just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see them up close and personal. Uh, if you have questions about these figures, I probably can't answer them for you other than to tell you when they came out. Yep. Our artists here in the building worked on them years ago, and uh, I, I really need to start taking some of these around getting signatures from I the artists. I can tell you uh, they're real neat looking. Real neat looking. That'll go yep. on the poster. Yep. Okay, so we have a few minutes left. We're going to jump into some questions. You don't have to hold that up there anymore. <laughs> Uh, first question up from Divine1SF, favorite Halloween candy, go. You're going to be mad at me, but that's okay, because I love candy corn. Oh, I like candy corn, too. Yeah. But it's, if I'm... It's, it's wax, maybe? Sugary wax? I don't know if it's candy. It's, it's candy. It's candy corn. That's my answer. Yep. But when I go trick-or-treating, which I still do regularly, yeah. um, I, I like chocolate just about anything. Chocolate I'm anything. really looking for an Almond Joy or a Three Musketeers when I hit a house. That's a good answer. If yeah. I'm going chocolate, I'm hoping for Whoppers or a Crunch Bar or a Kit Kat. You want people to put full-size hamburgers in your... Yeah. 
If okay. they can, an Flame impossible broil. Whopper, if possible. Oh, okay. Oh, you, yes, you are vegetarian. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So that, that's that's for me. But otherwise, I'm a Skittles guy. I'm, I like Skittles Ooh, more than most chocolate like things. Yeah. Chris Mazacampo says, what will you all be dressing up as for Halloween tomorrow? <laughs> you know, ironically, I've dressed up three days in a row for Spirit Week. I was Ariel on Monday. I was the big bad wolf yesterday. And then I'm a post-apocalyptic. I got someone earlier shouted out post-apocalyptic. Apocalyptic Jumanji, and I like that oh, one a lot. But I don't have good. a plan for t actual Halloween day. You should merge all three of those into one thing tomorrow. Frankenstein costume. So, like if I you said, will. I'm gonna be a big bad aerial post-apocalyptic style. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Okay. I want to see this. I look idea. forward to it. It's <laughs> a great idea. You had, you need to share photos if yeah. that happens. Josh Barnes, what do you like about doing these shows, Sully? Uh, you know, I, I say this all the time, and some people out there may roll their eyes at me, but I just, I like interacting with people. It's fun to have a co-host on these. I definitely like interacting with people at the cons and just talking about collections and totally. what they're into. Love uh, it. And while this may seem like a one-way conversation, I love seeing the questions that you guys ask yep. and being able to share. I love being able to share the vaulted items because, honestly, those are going to go back into my collection and not see the light of day for for a long time probably so it's, it's good awesome. to be able yeah. to share with he people. gets really excited when he brings in the vaults and stuff he tells us outside of the videos he's like guys i brought this stuff in today check it out and yeah it's did, awesome did you try to go an octave higher when you just did that yeah are that's you like mocking <laughs> my voice that's what you sound like that's exactly what he sounds like it's fine no I, I know what i sound like i can't stand it so listen to our funcast <laughs> podcast every week that i host <laughs> if you want more of this voice bentley johnson says we love interacting with you too that's sweet thank you Mac TDS says level up. I don't know what you're doing, but good job on leveling up. Congrats. Funko Ween, rock the night, everyone. New Zombieland pops. Well, that would be cool. That would be cool. Again, can't confirm or deny. Yeah, I've seen the new Zombieland movie twice now, and I enjoyed it quite Very a lot. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right, uh, I think it's almost time for us to get out of here. Any final words before we uh, sign off? Thank you. Happy Halloween. Thanks for joining yeah. us, brother. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me. I love it. All right, time to sign off in three, two, one. Nerds Unite. Bye.